The House Majority Leader, Congressman Steve Scalise, announced that he's undergoing treatment for a type of cancer called multiple myeloma. He said he is grateful that it was caught early and it is treatable, and he will tackle this with the same strength as he has past challenges. Meg Ferris has more. Steve Scalise wrote he had not been feeling well for a week, so got blood tests. Fellow elected officials offered him well wishes over his cancer diagnosis. Governor John Bell Edwards wrote, We know that Steve doesn't back down from a challenge. His toughness, his faith, and the love of his family will carry him through this. St. Tammany Parish President Mike Cooper also stated he knows faith and toughness will guide him through. And Senator Dr. Bill Cassidy said Scalise will be an inspiration of survival again. I have no doubt that with Steve's attitude, with the support of his family, with the prayers of so many and with modern health care, he is going to recover. So what is multiple myeloma? It's not leukemia, blood cancer, nor is it lymphoma. It's a cancer of one of the immune system cells in the bone marrow. Plasma cells, their main function is to produce antibodies, which help fight off um, certain infections that the body has already seen in the past. Symptoms include bone pain, numbness or tingling in the nerves of the hands and feet, weight loss, decreased appetite, fatigue or lack of energy, low white blood cells, and lingering infections. How common is it? It's one of our less common cancers. Um, under 2% of all cancer diagnoses are multiple myeloma. The cancer is considered a chronic condition. There's no cure, but there are pills, IVs, and injections that can keep putting a person back into remission. Multiple myeloma has been one of those cancers that um, has had a lot of new treatments come out over the last five years, um, and, and so it is a very, very treatable cancer. For most patients, the cause is unknown. The gunshots that Scalise survived six years ago during a domestic terrorist shooting at the Virginia baseball field is not considered a risk factor. The doctor says people can do their normal routines during treatment because there are few side effects. Scalise wrote he will do just that, return to Washington and continue his work. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.